God is able when the job is not. God is able when your loved ones that love you, but they just not able. You know what it is to want to do something for somebody, but you just not able right now. And there's never a time, what I'm trying to get you, get you to see, there's never a time when God is not able. He's always able. Your big mama told you he was able, and he's still able today. He's able. I am your exceeding great. That word great means increase. I am your increase speeding up coming your way. Hallelujah. I declare, man, you're not even going to be able to keep up with all the increase that God is sending your way because increase is going to be coming from, from everywhere. The Bible, said, the Bible said you'll be able to stack up gold like dust. Oh, you don't understand that. <laughs> Have you ever just walked around in your house and, and wiped and you saw dust? And I mean, man, you can clean and you go back a couple of days later and you wipe again and there's some more dust there. God said, I'm about to speed up increase and make it like dust in your house, man. Everywhere you go, you got money. Yeah. Hallelujah. You stand on that word, you confess that word until that word changes your circumstance because your circumstance is not going to change the word. You got to take the word and change your circumstance. Say it again. I always have. See, you, you listen, you got to have enough faith in your heart and not be intimidated by your circumstance and your situation and not back down in the face of lack. And you got to tell your situation, I always have. Your family needs a witness. They need an example of God taking somebody right from among them. And see, when God pull you out right from among them and they see you blessed in your latter state, they know it's God because they know you. They know where you come from. They know who your mama was. They know who your daddy is. They know you was born, you know, outside of wedlock. They know you don't have any education, but they see the blessing on your life. And they know it was God that blessed your life. But you just stay with the word of God and keep doing what God tells you to do and keep leading your family and you be the head of your house and don't let your in-laws run your house and it won't be long, you'll be rejoicing in your portion. And those who've been laughing and talking, they won't be laughing and talking when you get your double and when your portion come in because you'll have the blessing on your life and she'll start calling you son-in-law. Yeah, that's my son-in-law right there. <laughs> Come on, tell a brother. Say, hang in there, man. Hang in there. Come on, tell that preacher that brother. Say, man, don't quit. Man, don't quit. Hang in there. Tell him, say, you got the word on your side. Listen, brother, you got to understand. You got the word on your side. You got God on your side. You got Jesus on your side. You got the Holy Ghost on your side. You got the wisdom of God on your side. You got the anointing of God on your side. You got the Holy Ghost on your side. You got angels on your side. You got heaven on your side. You got God on your side. And if God be for you, who in the world can be against you? It's just a matter of time. But let me tell you something. It doesn't matter who you work for. Doesn't matter how much you make. There is no organization, there is no company that can take care of you like God wants to take care of you. Amen. It doesn't exist. There, there, there's no company. There is no organization. Because no company, no organization was ever designed to replace God when it comes to providing for you. God can run circles around the best company. 
with the greatest of benefit. And I'm not saying that's not important. That's not, that's not the point. But I'm saying don't put your trust there. Just like they brought you in, they can send you out. Just like they hired you, they, they, they can let you go. You, you don't make them your truck. They can shut down tomorrow. But God will never leave you, and he'll never forsake you, and he is the God that supplies all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. It's God that provides your needs. It's God who takes care of you. It ain't that, it's not, it's not that company, don't, don't get it twisted. It's not the organization, that's just a channel that God uses, but the provision comes from God. Yeah. In their prosperity, we'll recognize and acknowledge that they are the people whom the Lord has blessed. That's what they're gonna see. They're gonna see you in your prosperity. They're gonna see you blessed when you come in, Bless when you go out. They gonna see you on top, not on the bottom. They gonna see you being the lender and not the bar. They gonna see you pull up in something new. They gonna see you living in something new. They gonna see you wearing something new. They gonna see you blessed in your marriage. They gonna see you blessed in your body. And they gonna say that's the one that the Lord has blessed. Now look, now my thing is that they gonna say it about somebody might as well be you. Stop by CPM Bookstore and pick up your copy today.